Hi, my name is Jamie Loper. I'd like to welcome you to the Journey of Perspective, Edward Loper Jr. II. Today I'm going to be interviewing co-curator Shamika Jones, as well as my father, the talent, Edward Loper Jr. The first image that you will lay your eyes on when you enter the Journey of Perspective exhibit will be the self-portrait of my father. That eye is watching. This painting was absolutely perfect for the intro, the first, the first look of this show. It's everything that I wanted down to the frame, to the look, the style of the painting. This painting has been referred to as uh, Rembrandt-esque with the lighting just over the face. And I think it's just a wonderful example of the colors, all the different colors that can make up a face and that it's my father's face that you first see when you come in. So this is the very first example, and this is the, the quality and the look that I hope for all of my father's work. Again, paintings that will command your attention as soon as you enter the exhibit will be Salt Shaker and Jewelry Box. My father did both of these paintings after going to Paris and being inspired to out Cezanne, Cezanne. This series, Jewelry Box series, is five different paintings, but these two are the finest examples. Salt Shaker, the magnified, oversized fruit, absolutely gorgeous, and I think gives a very deep 3D type feel and was very key for the journey of perspective. Jewelry Box. Venetian Glow number one. This is the leading example of my father's still life work. From the moment he's done it, he's celebrated it by having it up on the wall, in a very prominent spot, looking at it every day, staring at it, turning it sideways, turning it upside down. Uh, and it's just a wonderful example of his work, the glow, the Venetian glow, the quality that he puts in, and, and the colors that he uses in this work. Very eye-catching, and as my father would say, knock your eyes out. So jewelry box, Venetian glow. Following along with the journey of perspective is this beautiful piece named Umbrella. Uh, my father loves the perspectives of going away, drawing you away to a point. There's several paintings in here that now that we've brought them out into the light for the first time, that you can really enjoy the perspective and what the painting's doing. So this one, it draws you. You feel like you can almost walk down this street. The lights here, the lights coming between these legs, all these little pieces of light. This is a wonderful example of how my father uses light to move your eye, moving your eye to where the actual focal point can be. This painting, uh, he didn't do on scene. This is something that he just did. You can see the characters are almost from another time. So again, his ability to create a painting from what he has in his head from a subject he actually sees is a very unique talent and something that's very enjoyable and can tell more of a story. So I'm very happy to have this piece in the show. Reading Terminal, pound for pound, one of the most precious paintings in this exhibit. The story is my father did this painting in the winter with gloves on. <laughs> now let's just think about this for a second. This incredible detail, metal work, all of this stonework with gloves on. This painting, I feel, is going to go on to do great things. It celebrates a part of Philadelphia that you can't see anymore, and it, it just absolutely celebrates it. I'll say it again, celebrating the Reading Terminal and the, the feel and the, the vibe of, of Philadelphia. So, but the work in this is absolutely incredible, and this is definitely a marquee piece for this exhibition. So thrilled to have it. Continuing along in Philadelphia is Maniunk. Now, this painting also is the first time it's being shown. This was a screensaver on my computer for years because I just love that perspective. I could flip my computer open and feel like I could walk into another down a street or up this street. It gives such, such an incredible perspective, thus what this show is based on. Uh, in here, I feel this painting has a very French feel, very French, the way my dad used these pinks and lights down here to draw your eye and actually help you understand how this perspective works is his way of, of teaching you to see. It's all about being able to see. The world can be that beautiful, but you actually have to slow down long enough 
to see all of those colors. So I think that these paintings are not only beautiful to look at and teach you about perspective, it teaches you how to see. I've learned how to see, and that's why I've been able to put on an exhibition that's so incredible and so eye-catching. Libby's Diner. My father held court here for probably about 10 years, breakfast, same seat every time. Located in Wilmington, this was actually a picture that I took. My father created this painting from a picture I took. I stood up in the corner with my camera and took a picture of all the characters that were in this morning. It's so my father seated along with Teddy, the owner. When my father's addressing this painting, he's always very detailed about the hands, the hands making a statement that giving the distance from the hand back to the body, those references in perspective. This painting is, is very unique to me because it captured a time that we don't have anymore, going to breakfast here, and it really uh, encompasses the feel that we had. Again, all these different characters, the entrance to the back, the different shapes that people had sitting on the stools, the saucer, all the things that say breakfast, morning light coming in the window. So to me, this is a very, very special painting that has uh, a wonderful time locked in forever that I'll never forget. And I, here, again, I think it has kind of a French feel. This could be uh, any cafe in Paris. So it has a wonderful feel. It's very busy and energetic and just another wonderful addition to the perspective that we feature in this exhibit. 12th Street Firehouse how I feel about this painting. This painting is rooted very deeply with me because it's staged in the neighborhood my father grew up in. Every story that I've been taught about my father and how he learned things are rooted from this part of town. And so he got this painting so right. The colors, the facets of light, the direction, the real feel of that steel and metal, it puts you there. It, it really honestly puts you there. And to see all of the different shapes, how this can be put together, how one image in your mind can be put together almost like a puzzle piece of different shapes, all giving you direction and understanding. If I could take a, a personal moment to bow, it was in the addition of the frame. <laughs> I hunted a frame that was going to capture exactly the feel of the metal down there, the steel that holds that bridge up. I've been to this location. I've put my hand on that rail. I felt the steel oxidize and fall off onto the ground. And I really wanted to capture that since this was such a special um, location with my family in mind. So this is an incredible painting, absolutely thrilled over the moon that it can be in this exhibit. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time it has ever been showed. So definitely spend a moment and enjoy this. The Italian market in South Philadelphia. The most rooted scene to me in childhood was my father working in the Italian market. He was there when Rocky was big and shooting his scenes, running down the streets. So all of those shapes those iconic shapes, if you've ever been to the Italian market, are always present in every single one of his paintings, which would be the barrels, the fruit, the bins that the fruit are in, a scale or a couple scales, a hanging scale or a scale sitting on a table, and then some of the people in the background, maybe some of the workers. These are always key components. They're always there. I think this is a very underrated part of town to be painting. When you search for paintings in this area, you don't really see a whole lot, and it's a tough area to paint in. And that's why I think my father was so attracted to this, because it had so many different shapes. You're standing in traffic, you have cars beeping at you going by, and all the other characters that you can find on a, on a South Philadelphia street. But these have a, a certain grit and feel to them that is undeniably Philadelphia, and I, they're the image again is like connected to my DNA because I know it so well and I've been looking at it through my, throughout my entire life. This painting is the first time is, it's being shown. It's the very first time being shown. So, and it looks magnificent. It's bigger and brighter than it's ever been in this beautiful light. And uh, again, such a key component to the perspective that we have in this exhibition.
Packaged Liquor, New Orleans. This is a painting that my father did on location and sent back home through the mail. <laughs> it's a very unique subject. Packaged liquor, when I first saw it, I was like, all right, Dad, you, you paint a liquor store. And the more I looked at it, it's not so much that subject, it's the way that he decided to celebrate it. The way that he decided to scream at your eyes, look, I'm not in Wilmington. Look at these palm trees, that beautiful light coming down the street. We see just a liquor store, a bodega we walk by, but he is a very unique way of celebrating that and saying, again, if you stop and look, look at all the beautiful colors and things that can be in neon, that can be in bricks, that can be in the light coming down the street. So this was a different subject, but I think an absolutely incredible addition to this exhibition, and I would have it no other way. This painting absolutely had to be here. New Orleans Liquor Store. Keeping along with the New Orleans theme, we have Jazz Band. Now this is a heavy hitting painting. What's so impressive about this painting is that my father did this from a photograph. And when he did it, absolutely spilled out of his brush. As a child, my father could do paintings in two or three hours. Now at almost 88 years old, he takes more of his time getting those things perfect. He analyzes this painting through and through. This painting spilled out of him like a feverish, avalanche of color. It just went everywhere. He couldn't stop working on it. Every day that I come to visit him, I was excited to see what had happened to this painting. The poses that these guys are in is so cool. It's so cool. I want to know what they're playing right away. In fact, I can almost hear it when I look at this. And every single time I look at this painting, I feel that. I feel what he's trying to capture. I feel what the color is trying to do, what the mood is trying to do, what the poses are trying to do. These feet angled here just at how relaxed these guys are. They're in their natural element, playing beautiful music. And for a music lover, or a lover of color art, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is really just a special piece. And again, a lesson in perspective. That space, the leg, the body drawing to and from, closer, further, this push and pull that's in the painting makes it absolutely magnificent. This gorgeous stool that my father hand carved was a last minute addition to this exhibition and I'm kind of ashamed to admit that. Such a beautiful thing. When given the license to use carvings, this should have been the very first thing that I went after. This stool my father created barefoot in the yard with nothing more than a hand chisel. He created this incredible stool that has images all the way around ornate ball and claw foot. Different images all the way around. The detail here was, is absolutely incredible. And as I get older, I marvel more and more in what my father could do with nothing more than a chisel. Originally, when I thought about having it in the show, it was sitting in pristine shape, clean just as a wonderful object to be marveled at. And then my father started using it every day to paint on, and he got paint on it. So I thought, oh, well, now maybe we won't be able to use it for the exhibition. But just in the last couple of weeks when walking by it, I realized that this exhibition could not be complete without this element. If you could ever appreciate the detail that's going on around here, for someone that did not go to school for this, did not go to school, didn't have the advantage of being able to study with the world's finest or even have access to that information. To be able to create such ornate detail is something that is absolutely mind-blowing. The paintings are one thing. The man is one thing. But when I ask him how he does this, he just sat down and carved it. You know, he just does it because he wants to. He's not, he just, it's something that's inside of him that he wants, all the way down to keeping his name on the inside that you know he did it. I don't think my father or I ever thought that something like this could be on display in an exhibition, and it's just an incredible piece that you'll really need to take time and look at all four sides of this and appreciate the backstory to it. Yeah, it's amazing. A very special thank you to Jennifer Gunther, the Art Center Gallery, at the Delaware State University for providing this incredible space. Shamika Jones, co-curator, 
for bringing the incredible blend and balance to this show, and my father for being the talent that he is. Each one of these individuals held their own space beautifully and were able to put on this incredible presentation that I hope everyone can enjoy.